Have you ever wondered if water, the most abundant resource on our planet, could fuel our cars and industries? We live in a world where the engines that power our industries, transport and homes predominantly rely on fossil fuels. These energy sources, while effective, pose significant environmental challenges, contributing to climate change, air pollution, and a host of other ecological issues. The quest for more sustainable, cleaner energy sources is a pressing concern. Amid the myriad of alternatives being explored, the concept of water engines emerges, presenting an intriguing possibility. The idea of harnessing the power of water, a resource that covers about 70% of our planet, is not new, yet it remains largely unexplored in the mainstream. As we grapple with the environmental impact of our current energy consumption, the allure of water as a potential fuel source becomes increasingly compelling. But what if we could turn to water, our planet's most abundant resource, for our energy needs? Imagine an engine that runs on nothing but water, sounds impossible, right? But actually, it's not. Let's take a moment to dive into the fascinating world of water engines. The working principle of water engines is surprisingly straightforward. It's all about harnessing the power of hydrogen and oxygen, the two elements that make up water. This is done through a process known as electrolysis. Electrolysis might sound like a term straight out of a science fiction novel, but it's actually a well-established scientific principle. In the context of a water engine, electrolysis involves passing an electrical current through water. This splits the water into its constituent parts, hydrogen and oxygen. Once we have hydrogen and oxygen we can use these gases to power an engine. This is where the magic happens. The hydrogen and oxygen are mixed and ignited, creating a powerful explosion. This explosion is what drives the pistons in the engine, propelling the vehicle forward. But there's a twist. When hydrogen and oxygen combine in this way they produce water as a byproduct. Yes, that's right. The very same water that we started with. This makes the whole process sustainable and environmentally friendly. We're essentially turning water into power, and then back into water again. Of course, there are some complications. For one, electrolysis requires a significant amount of energy, and while the combustion process produces water, it also produces heat, a lot of heat. This heat needs to be managed carefully to prevent damage to the engine, but despite these challenges, the potential benefits of water engines are immense. They could dramatically reduce our reliance on fossil fuels and help to mitigate the effects of climate change. Plus, water is a resource that we have in abundance, unlike oil or gas. So, in theory, a water engine could provide a clean, sustainable solution for our energy needs. The challenge lies in turning that theory into reality. But who knows, with the right technological breakthroughs, water engines could become a common sight in the not-too-distant future. If water engines are so great then why aren't we all driving water-powered cars? Well, the answer lies in the challenges that come with water engines. The first hurdle is energy inefficiency. To power an engine with water we need to split the water molecule into hydrogen and oxygen through a process called electrolysis. Unfortunately this process is not very efficient. In fact it takes more energy to split the water molecule than the energy we get from burning the resulting hydrogen. This means that water engines would require a significant power source, reducing their overall efficiency. Then, there's the issue of safety. Hydrogen, being a highly flammable gas, poses significant safety risks. Storing hydrogen safely is a major concern. It's not as simple as filling up a tank with gasoline. Hydrogen needs to be stored under high pressure or at extremely low temperatures, both of which present their own set of challenges. Another issue is the lack of infrastructure. Today's infrastructure is built around gasoline and diesel fuels. Establishing a new infrastructure for hydrogen fuel would require massive investments and time. We're talking about building new fuel stations, new pipelines and new storage facilities among other things. But it's not all doom and gloom, there's ongoing research into making water engines more practical and efficient. Scientists and engineers around the world are exploring new methods to make electrolysis more efficient. They're also working on safer ways to store hydrogen and looking into how we can gradually transition from our current infrastructure to one that supports hydrogen fuel. The future of water engines may seem uncertain, but the potential benefits are too great to ignore. Imagine a world where our cars no longer emit harmful greenhouse gases, but instead their only byproduct is water vapor. Imagine an energy source that's virtually unlimited and available everywhere. Despite these challenges the idea of a water engine remains a tantalizing prospect. After all, who wouldn't want a world where our cars run on nothing but water?